to take you behind the scenes of the Shine with Natasha year five rebrand. A little bit of a backstory if you're newer to my community. I started my entrepreneurial journey five years ago. I was in my senior year of college and I was having the crisis of what do I want to do for the rest of my life? And through some amazing mentorship that I had while I was in college, I landed on wanting to start my own business at the age of 21. And I started with social media management specifically for Instagram. And over the past five years, my business has continued to evolve as I've continued to evolve and grow. And that leads us to exactly where we are today. The Shine with Natasha brand is now just this educational resource for small business owners that are really wanting to build brand confidence with video. And so naturally, as my business has evolved and quite literally my brand has evolved from the logo I quite literally like bootstrapped and created without like zero (laughs) design experience to where I am now, I really felt like it was time for a refresh. It was time for a rebrand. So I've been talking about it and unveiling it and sharing it over on my socials, but I wanted to do this deep dive podcast episode to kind of share a a little bit more of what went into it and what really my intentions were with this rebrand and also what does this mean for my business going into 2023. And I'm also going to be answering some questions that you sent over on Instagram stories about the rebrand in the structure. So let's get right into the biggest question of like, why the rebrand? And also like, when did I realize I needed a rebrand and what was that light bulb moment? And when I look back, there truly wasn't one moment where I was like, it's time to rebrand. Now is the time. I think it's slowly been happening since I retired my social media services and I transitioned my business from Soul Studio to Shine with Natasha. There's been a layer of experimentation in that entire process. And so there kind of wasn't a moment. It was like a whole journey. I got a really interesting question of was this rebrand for me or was it from feedback from my clients? And I'd say there is like a little bit of both. From my clients, it was very indirectly. I found that the things that they were finding the most valuable in my programs and services and teachings actually had a lot less to do with what I thought I was creating about. It had a lot more to do with this new direction that I'm going in. And probably the biggest thing where like, like my clients really influenced this rebrand was with the Instagram confidence accelerator. So essentially this was taking all the Instagram courses, the framework I used when I did Instagram management, and it essentially turned it into a group coaching program. And through the creation of this program and through the group coaching calls and the community and connecting with those members in those first cohorts, that was actually what inspired me to challenge myself and be like, I feel like I can give more and I can go deeper. And that's really what this next version of my programs really came from. Initially, I thought it was me like not wanting to be known as like the Instagram girl. But what I realized is it was a lot more about me wanting to be known as the video expert and someone in the industry that does things just a little bit differently. And I think, yes, the rebrand was for me. The person that I was five years ago is completely different than the person that I am now. Like going back to me watching those archive videos, I'm like, wow. It's like you can see and hear and feel the difference. And like quite literally, even like in my personal life, I've changed and evolved so much. So I quite literally felt like I outgrew my brand and that it almost felt outdated and it needed to be matured a little bit. So what changed? What actually changed? The first thing is the visual branding. We updated my colors, fonts, logos, and all my visual assets from photos and videos as well. This was truly a team effort from my web designer, my graphic designer, and also my photographer. And everything came together like 
beautifully. I'm just beyond. Also kind of like the internal why and messaging and vision and the people I'm trying to serve and my why and the problem we're solving. All those internal elements that we like inherently know are like in our brains and a part of our business. I really had to dig deep on where do those things need to be updated and where those things just need to be put on pen and paper, which is really where my coaching session with Brittany came in. She did my coach for the past few months and I went down to Atlanta and we tore everything apart and built it back. And I feel like I really needed that. I had the clarity. I had all the pieces, but I needed to like put it all together. So that was a really big part of it as well. And then another thing is kind of just like my offers, right? So the first part of this was my new challenge, the five-day video confidence challenge. And you can check that out at videoconfidencechallenge.com. And also I have some things up my sleeve this summer in lieu of where we've done hot Instagram summer. But really the biggest changes is with my two babies, my two programs, the video content camp and the online authority mastermind. So let's first talk about the video content camp. So if you're watching this in the moment live, it is actually launching and open for enrollment. So definitely check out all those details in the description and in the show notes. The video content camp is my six month group coaching program, and it teaches you how to create strategic video content that not only grows your brand and your sales, but also your confidence and your impact on your community. So as I mentioned, I created the Instagram Confidence Accelerator in 2022. It was brand new. And this version of the camp refilmed everything, recreated everything, all the resources, the structure, everything got a revamp. And it wasn't because ICA was bad, but it was because for this rebrand, we had to remove Instagram from the name of the programs, but we really had to make sure that with my updated framework and just who I was trying to serve that I like, it actually made sense and it resonated. If you want to hear a little bit more in depth on my shine framework and how this comes to life inside the video content camp, I highly recommend listening to the shine framework podcast episode and I've linked it in the description and show notes for you. So in terms of it being restructured, we moved away from a cohort model and instead gave them longer access to the calls, to the community, so they could work through it at their own pace and really see a bigger transformation during their time in the program. And along with new video lessons that are just so engaging, and you can also listen to them on the go via podcast, there's two new elements that I am over the moon excited for. So along with our monthly coaching calls, there's now going to be quarterly intensive sprints. So the goal of this is to be kind of like a mixture of co-working and brainstorming, because I feel like sometimes we just need to sit down, put a date on our calendar and actually batch those ideas, that footage, like whatever it is when it comes to our video content. So I was like, let's just do that virtually. So essentially we'll sit down on a 90 minute call and we'll go through these different phases of essentially creating your content for the next quarter from ideas to stock content, to repurposing, to getting organized, to campaigns. You will leave that call with all of that done. Like, oh my gosh. And one of my other favorite new elements is the Shine Standards Workbook. So essentially my goal with the Shine Standards is I wanted you to leave with something tangible, your custom video strategy that you could reference, update, and go through anytime time you needed. I want you to listen and watch the video lessons. Absolutely. But I actually want you to implement what you're learning and taking action. So essentially these shine standards is a workbook I created in notion. So it's an interactive template that you can use where there's checklists, prompts, guided exercises, reflections, and even challenges that you can go through as they correlate with the lessons you're watching. So this resource, there's like 20 different types of resources inside this workbook. And already members have been like, it is so fun to just like have that off to the side as I'm going through the lessons and like actually putting it into action. So that's also been one of my favorite new features of the program. 
But overall, the program is focused a lot less on something like Reels or Instagram. And it's focused a lot more on like, what is your strategy? Like, why are you using video and who are you trying to reach and how are you going to see those results? Then it's going to talk about the systems to make sure you're organized so you can do this consistently, which is going to help you see results. And then we have skills, which essentially is taking all the things you need to know about creating really great video content and being able to use that, not just on a platform like Reels, but being able to use it as you continue to grow your video marketing strategy. And then it kind of ends off with sustainability, right? Which is all about that scaling of your content ecosystem, doing your campaigns and making sure all those mindset ickies are at bay. The video content camp is perfect for you if you have basic tech skills and business foundations, but no true strategy or system to support you. Maybe you felt behind during the boom of video content, but you're eager and ready to show up, or you feel like your videos just aren't properly representing your brand, or you just feel overwhelmed with what to post, what type of videos to create, and you just want an overall healthier relationship and more fun with video. I have poured my heart and soul into the camp and know that it's going to be the best supportive next step for you if you're ready to use video to grow your business. So definitely check out all those details. And on the other side of that is my mastermind. So essentially my mastermind is for higher level entrepreneurs that have already seen success with their marketing or their content and in their business, they're scaling and growing and know to attract next level opportunities like speaking, like brand partnerships, like collaborations, like their biggest launch yet. They need to step into that authority role specifically in how they show up in their video content. Content. So in an ideal world, you'd go through the camp and then you would continue to scale that inside the mastermind. And so we are having our third cohort of this mastermind in 2023. And the whole program, the whole curriculum is getting an update from the structure, but also including new things like an in-person retreat in Tampa as a part of your mastermind seat. So this program isn't getting like a full revamp like the camp, but it is getting all those little improvements to just make sure that you're getting that next level transformation and you're seeing results when you join. And so that has been the rebrand. It has been a project. It has been a journey. And it's been so fun just taking you behind the scenes as I'm flying to Atlanta for coaching or doing my video shoot or launching the website, or of course, putting the finishing touches on my baby, the video content camp. I hope it maybe has inspired you or just made you feel like you're a part of the process. So definitely check out all the links that I've shared because this will allow you to tour around and see my new website, my new branding, and also the updates to my programs. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one.